Hi right, Harry. All right, Jack. Right, Different vlog today, Harry. I'm oh, giving the doing? people what they want. Oh, As we know, I'm not usually one to listen to other people's opinions, but I did think this was quite a good experiment. See what I can actually shoot. In the summer as well, sometimes I don't bother with this glove. So the driver is also back in the bag. Just to throw something into the mix as well, I'm going to chip. So any opportunity that normally I would probably generally pick to putt, I'm actually going to grab my lob wedge or my gat wedge out, something with a bit of loft, and I'm actually going to chip the ball. So the putter I'm using is actually an Odyssey. It's a Rossi 2 that I used to use quite successfully back in the late 90s, early 2000. It's got the black insert, dual force it's called, and I've actually stuck a two thumb grip on it. I found an old two thumb grip that I used to have. This is the putter I used to actually use. It's exactly the same spec and it's on the side, you might notice as well. Have I got enough golf balls? That is the first question. And we're of course at Cherston Golf Club where I'm a member. So this is where my drive's finished, just on the right hand side. If you watched this Texas Scramble the other week, I was over here, so it's a little bit longer. And that's the position from coming where we've come from. The issue I've got now is I've only literally got 60 yards to the middle of the green. Well, it's slightly less because I'm a couple of paces back, 59 yards. And it's a tricky shot to actually hold this green. I'll just take you up to the green. I'm just zooming on an iPhone, so apologies if it's not great. But I've got to land it onto the actual dance floor to actually try and get the stop, which is not the easiest thing to do. So 58 and I'm going to try and land it onto the actual dance floor. Again in the meadow I'd probably land it short of that bank and just bounce it over but we have said that we're going to try and play more aggressively so I'm going to try and land it on the dance floor. overall shot was probably a little bit better than the actual well the outcome of the shot was better than the actual execution of the shot probably got 10 foot now for birdie So this is what we're faced with. Come in these trees, as I said, it's quite dense in here now. Um, and now the green is positioned sort of here, but it does kick that way, but I don't think I've got any shot. This is what I'm faced with. So I'm gonna play out, actually we said we were gonna play aggressively. So I'm actually gonna try and hit it through this gap. Let's do it. A little stick sign. Get it through that gap. It will kick a little bit down towards the left. So hopefully get close to the green. If I was playing sensibly, I'd knock it out here and leave myself a wedge, but we are trying to play aggressively. That was the, uh, the idea. Got to miss this tree and then try and get it through that little gap. Not so good. <laughs> Oops. I've literally got no shot now, so I'm literally having to just, I'm just gonna have to chip it out with sort of a little 50, the roots in the way as well. So it's gonna go back out here, hopefully deep swing to try and make contact. That'll do the short of the trap. Yeah. Take that. Take it a little bit. Sit. That's a chance. Just a 
fraction long, not too bad. Probably 15 foot left for a bogey, unfortunately. Probably in reflection, I should have, I was probably too aggressive. I should have just played out, would have made a five, which off my handicap's not a bad score on the hole because I do get a stroke normally. So probably too aggressive there. So it was a six, but nine times out of 10, play out sideways, you make five, but you learn, you move on. I wasn't going to play the fourth, but I am only because the pin if I zoom in on my iPhone, it's tucked right hand side behind the bunker. So to go at that pin is, you know, is, is probably not advised. You want to be hitting it over that middle bunker or even like a little fade off that bunker towards that pin. Leave yourself 15 foot left of the pin. But as we're trying to play aggressive, I'm actually going to go at it. So I've gone at this pin, it's on the right hand side. I've probably missed it three or four paces right of where I'm trying to hit it. It's also kick right, so this will be um, extremely challenging shot. I'd imagine there's a little dip and I'm probably gonna be in that with a pin sort of short-sided myself. So it'll be a good three and a good up and down if I can manage it. So this is an area of my game I've really been working on. I just feel the technique's a lot better but I've actually now got to get some consistency and actually trust that I can actually actually make the shot or execute the shot as we plan. So the idea is to land it here, straight downhill, and then run out. So I've got to be aggressive. If it lands here, it's going to stop. So I've got to land this on the green. Nice and positive. Technique's decent. Just believe in it. Easier said than done at times. Test the putting out a little bit. <sighs> Wasn't convincing that left side. Not a good stroke. Fifth hole chest and five five six off the back tees, wind straight across and down. The front nine ten holes, other than the seventh, run straight out towards the far sort of end of the golf course, and then you come back on yourself. That's what you're faced with. Right again, that's the practice area over there. Left is dense trees, a bit like the third. You want to if you're hitting drive, you want to be between that post you can see on the right hand side of the screen and those trees on the left. So this hole here is your typical sort of risk and reward hole. It's a par five, but the downwind and the way the conditions are very bouncy out here, it's definitely reachable in two. So if you can get a good drive away, you're giving yourself a really good opportunity of a birdie. I've just hit that sort of just left of the post. Ideally, 10 yards further left would be perfect, but I should be able to see the green and should be able to have a little go at this, which obviously if I'm in range, I will be having a go at anyway. So I'll be trying to get it down as close to the green as possible. I think I might have just won Ladies Captain's Day straightest drive. So got 240 yards into the green. I'll just zoom it up there for you. That's what you're faced with. There's bunkers right, there's one in the middle, there's one to the left. There's a green side bunker on the left hand side. It all kicks in from the right hand side, but you need to carry those bunkers. And the carry over those bunkers is 190 yards, which my four iron carries like 195. So it should be the club four iron. I'm thinking of maybe even hitting five with and landing it further down, even trying to land it on the front of the green. As good as I get it, might be right. See if I right kick. It's gonna be 
Sure. Look at that view from the fifth as well. Beautiful, isn't it? That's Torquay you can see in the distance. My ball is up here on the right hand side. It got a bit of a bad kick right in all honesty. Probably would have made front edge. It's a little tricky pitch downhill towards the pin. Right. Lob wedge again. Try and land it just sort of just on the fringe, just short of the fringe, because this is a little bit quicker than the last one. Slightly longer shot, but similar technique as the last. A little bit to the right, ideally. Sit, sit. Just didn't kill it in the bank. Probably land it another foot and it's four or five foot close to the hole. Hard I'm hitting them, but Birdie. Don't really know what to say about that. I've held two really good putts for Birdie, but they've gone in at some pace that if they miss the hole, they're probably sort of that's probably four or five foot past the hole, the whole downhill putt. I don't know whether the change of putter is what. I should be thinking or maybe just putt a little bit more aggressively obviously the putts will break less if you hit them harder but you will sometimes be faced with that awkward length back but if you're making three or four of them around you'd ex probably expect only to miss maybe one or two back so is that better what do you think not too sure So a little bit left off the tee, hopefully it's long enough. If it's long enough, it'll get down onto the flat and then I should only have, you know, a mid wedge into the green, maybe one of even the specialist wedges. But if not, we'd be blocked out by the trees. So it's a bit of a tiger line, which was good because we we're trying to play aggressive and that definitely was the aggressive line. But let's have a just walk across so you can have a look. It's under the tree here. So you can just see the guys in front putting out. It's a bunker left, bunker right, it does kick sort of in from right to left. So you want to be up where the buggy is, but I can play a low shot, but it's not ideal. Tree as well. Would ideally play it left loft, but I'm not going to carry this rough. Right. Just got caught in it. Not too bad, it's running. It's going to be short of the green, but I'll take that to be fair. Not too bad, not too bad. Probably 10 or so paces short of the green. Pins cut on the front. Chance of a four. There's a, a little disappointing with that. Um, there was a ridge here that if you don't quite get it up, it will drift back off the green, but still a little bit clumsy. Landed it three or four foot further than I wanted to. Had no grip on it at all. Um, 15, 16 foot left for par. Should break a little bit left to right as well. Will be quite quick once it gets past the hole. So ideally don't want to get it running too fast past the hole. I want to go into dead weight. Come on. I'm just going to play the seventh but not film it mainly because it's a real blind tee shot it's really busy and I'm not really sure where the ball's going to be landing it's drivable as well so I won't know when the green's clear so I'm just going to play this hole and then I'll continue on the eighth wasn't going to do any par threes but they for this type of video they sort of pose a challenge in themselves like I would normally hit middle of the green probably not go for certain pins 
chest and have very slopey greens. That's sort of a trademark or what really sort of saves the golf course. So the fourth was obviously in a tricky place. The, the, the eighth is not so bad, but I would normally be hitting it into the right side of the green, two putting up the hill. But today you'll notice the eighth hole, the pin is right in the middle of the green. So rather than hitting it over here to the right hand side, as I just mentioned, I'm going to go straight at it. Maybe even try and miss it left to bounce it down. Don't know if the cameras or the iPhone's picking up the wind, but I feel like it was straight down wind going out, but it feels like it might have turned around slightly. Just hit nine iron there, which is sort of my one five five club, holes one five eight. And I've only just made it onto the front edge, so probably should have hit eight iron there. This putt's got quite a bit of swing from left to right. It's got to be three, four foot left and then it die into the hole. I'm gonna go a little bit straighter, try to play more aggressively, so we're gonna go at it, a little bit more pace and try and hold its line better. Wow. <laughs> Oops. So the ninth hole at chest and dog legs down to the right. This is the view from the tee. If we zoom in, the hole is actually over these trees here on the right hand side. Someone like Jack or Craig would actually go out that green. The fairway does kick sort of left to right as well. And there's a wall down the right hand side. So. Full left! Just hit it dead straight with no fade. Um, yeah, gone over towards the 11th, should be all right, but not the greatest drive, but if you're gonna miss it on the side, you miss it left, not right at Cherston. Should have started it on the line of the trees, had a little bit more confidence. Never mind. Just wandering over to my ball. So this is on the 11th fairway. That's the T I'm just pointing at at the moment. The green of the ninth is in this direction now. It's just left of this tree here. It's not too bad. I'm far enough back that that shouldn't pose me too much issue. Um, we will play the lemon in a minute as well, so. Birdie putt, but it's straight down the hill. Speed is sort of the essence. I want to be, I'd say, in here, sort of area, because it will break this way at the end. Again, about pace. Try and be a little bit more aggressive and try and get it past the hole if I can. There is a ridge as well that runs across the middle of this green, which is across here, and then sh straight down the hill. <laughs> Maybe this is the answer. So tenth hole measures two eight three mid of the green, two six nine front, two nine seven to the back. And this is what you're faced with, a tee shot. It's quite narrow to start with. You've got trees left and right. That's the boundary of the wall you can see on the right hand side. It runs up. You can just see the pin there. Red flag, front of the green, there's a left hand trap. There's a couple of traps down here on the right hand side and there it gets quite tight as you get to the green. It does kick as well, sort of left to right. I'm gonna go with it a driver today. If I hit it like I did on the last hole, we lose a ball. So I'm just gonna take a little bit off it as well because I think I've got enough distance to get there, even if I just hit a nice smooth one.
I have found my ball, it's there. Unfortunately, I'm here. Pins behind the tree. It's not got much of a shot, really. I'm not sure what to do. I'm gonna try and go out slightly right towards that bunker. I think that's my best option. Not much of a shot here, so. There's my ball in it, yep, that's two. Come out, stop. Rolled up the bunker and back down. Should be a little left to right of this one. Maybe left edge, just let it drift into the right. Definitely falls that way when it loses pace. I might keep this putter. So the 11th hole at Churston, this is the par four, which is 350 yards. It's the first hole that goes actually back towards the clubhouse. So like I said, 10 holes basically out onto the furthest point, which we are now, and then eight back. So there's a big tree that guards it on the left-hand side. There's the pin you can see. Again, if you hit the ball right, there's a lot of trees and stuff down the right-hand side. It's normally a hit four iron and then a little wedge into the green, but today I'm gonna have a go at the green. But again, it's not really my shape. You need to hit it right to left, which I don't generally do. This is the last hole, I've just gone a little bit left. I'm getting bailed out wrong side, just slightly like hitting toe strike at the moment off the driver now. Normally I hit heel, so scattering across the base a little bit, which is a little bit worried. Should be all right, I'll open up the green if I've got far enough left, because you can basically, the 11th and 9th run alongside each other. As you saw earlier, I played the 9th from the 11th. I'm just gonna play the 11th from the 9th. So this is what I was talking about. These are the trees that I was referring to on the tee. I've gone past them. That's the fairway on the right-hand side there, and I'm down the 9th, so it's the ninth fairway, it's the ninth tee up here. Not bad place to be fair. The only issue I've got is these trees, they're quite tall. I need to go over them rather than under them because I've got a bunker that guards the front, but it's not very far in. Almost would have got to the probably front edge if I'd have hit it straight. Remember the green. I've really got to open that club face up, use the maximum loft, try and deliver sort of way more than. Way more than a 60 degree, 68 degree left wedge on it. Okay, so we start. Maybe steer high over it. Should be like 15 foot for birdie. Interesting for me personally, I don't know what you girls and guys thought of it at home, but definitely the putter, I need to experiment more. Maybe put that putter actually into play. It's a really old putter and it's um, a little bit battered and bruised and it's um, not in the best conditions, but that type of putter with the two thumb grip might actually be a solution. I'm gonna try it in a competition. I have got club championship next week, which I think would be a bad time to put it in the bag. But when that's finished, my season more or less is over. So I'm gonna experiment and have a go with that putter. The chip in is noticeably improved over the winter. I put a lot of time and effort into that area of my game. And, you know, it still needs work. The confidence is getting there, but under pressure, I need to believe in the technique and believe that I could actually execute the shot. 
driver off every tee. Now, this is where I think that me hitting two iron, five wood and selective with the driver will give me the best possible scoring option. You need to know when to attack. You need to know when to defend. You need to know when you need to hit a fairway. Certain holes at Churston, I feel that they don't suit the way I hit the ball. Obviously my driving needs work, which is a project for the winter. But drive on every hole, although I got away with it today, quite a few occasions. Um, I could easily have lost two or three more balls, which would have made my score, you know, six, five, six, seven shots higher. So that one I need to think for a little bit more. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the channel. It really does help me to grow and to continue to make videos and also buy more video equipment to improve the actual overall production. Like as well, like the video, comment below, all comments answered. Thanks for watching.